Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel. This is uh, Deadlight Director's Cut and I'm Benchart. So today we are here to, to benchmark this game on my HD 7850 uh, overclocked, which uh, have similar clocks to the R7 265 and the R7 uh, 370. So I'm running this at 1080p. This is the settings menu. It's <laughs> it's actually funny because you one we have this slider. V-Sync is on, but even if I disable V-Sync, the game will continue to be at 60 FPS. So for that, I leave V-Sync on. That, that's my opinion. Um, unfortunately, good luck, Randy. Unfortunately, my recorder takes is taking a big impact in performance. I am not sure why, but we are seeing there 50 frames and 40s uh, sometimes, and this is this don't happen while I'm not recording. Like always, you can see that in the end of the video or clicking on the red rectangle saying frame rate, which will take you to the results without recording. The wood is and and the in there, is you can actually see that uh, I don't have this frame rate. Okay, I have a much better one, <laughs> which is good. So the benchmark is done at 1080p and uh, 1440p, but the video is at 1080p, I mean. And it's like that. So, what's, what is actually new in that light director's cut for the price for being so different to the original? So, this new version, uh, they claim that they improved the visuals and the textures, uh, they claim that they bring more detail to the Seattle, which is the, the city where where we played this game. Uh, they claim they enhanced the controls and they claim that they have now new animations. But I, I think the, the biggest improvement is that they now include a new game mode, which is called the Survival Arena, and you have new weapons like, for example, snipers and shotguns uh, for that mode. And I, d I believe with that, that is the biggest difference of the director's cut. If the survival doesn't really interest you, I don't think there's a reason to to buy this game. Uh, because the original, I don't truly remember how the visuals were, but I remember they were fine already for the for the time. And so, I'd, if you want this game already, I don't see any reason for you to buy. And even if you don't own the, this game already, uh, the original is at a very very good price and well this new game for my in my opinion doesn't bring uh, too many stuff that justifies the difference from the price of the original to the director's cut okay so I will shut up for now and going to let you enjoy the video okay and hope to see you soon thank you Ben and the others made it out they deserve better than this world. Come on! Here! Come on! It says here the highway is at the end of this tunnel. It's a straight shot to the safe point. Shannon and Lydia might even be there by now.
according to the map, I should cross this highway to get closer to the safe point. This is it. This is what's left of our world now. These are the leftovers of the war between men and shadows. A snapshot of what we've become. Bloody hell on Earth. found a firefighter's axe. Thanks, buddy. No time to waste. Hello boys and girls, welcome to the performance section of the video and Dead Light Director's Cut without recording runs fine at 1080p at 60 frames which is the, the limit of frame rate you can run uh, the Dead Light and unfortunately there are some inconsistencies uh, that you can see on the graphic, the orange, um, the orange line and I believe that is caused by Unreal Engine 3 which is the engine of the game and usually this is uh, this happens very often with many other games, which is streaming assets, uh, um, textures and stuff while we run through the map. And usually uh, this type of games that uses Unreal Engine 3 have this uh, type of problems, usually. But for 1440p that's another story. We can see already in the beginning that the frame rate isn't uh, st sustainable at 60 frames. 
uh, which is the graphic card hitting the limit for that resolution. So if you look to the consistency, we can see that 27% uh, of the frames are lower than 60 at 1440p and that one, um, and that 1080p it's only 3% and related to those streaming problems of the Unreal Engine 3. So if you take a very quick look to the other stuff, we can see that the game doesn't use too much of uh, VRAM or RAM 2. If you have 4 GB of RAM, you will be okay with this game. CPU usage, it seems to only use 2 cores, uh, which I believe it's a little bit bad. And uh, our CPU is old, and uh, that might be why uh, the streaming takes a little bit more impacts. If the game uses more cores, or if the game used more cores, I think things could be a little bit different regarding the streaming. But that's how it goes. And GP usage, it's between 60 to 80% at 1080p, so it never max out, never max out the card. But for 1440p, uh, the game sometimes uh, maxed out the graphic card, and that is why it dips to 50s and that frame rate in the beginning. So that's how I want to talk about the Dead Light Director's Cut. Hope you, hope you did enjoy this video, and of course, so I hope to see you soon in another one, so stay tuned for more benchmarks. See you soon.